Stormtroopers are a staple of the Star Wars franchise. Running about, bumping heads, killing family members. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, so many classic stormtrooping moments. The first Star Wars The Force Awakens trailer, though, has sparked a heated debate, which goes along the lines of, wait! Who's this guy? I thought all Stormtroopers were clones of a New Zealand spaceman. So right here, I'm going to attempt to explain who the Stormtroopers actually are. As best I can, you know, with my limited brain functionality. So why not come along for the ride? The worst that can happen is you're distracted by how good this video is, and then a bird flies into your face and breaks your nose. First off, I gotta preface this by saying that the history of Stormtroopers has been entirely retconned. And at this point, it's still unclear which elements from the expanded universe, now referred to as legends, will make it into the new canon. Now, Stormtroopers obviously weren't always called as such. The prequel trilogy demonstrated that the first incarnation began as clone troopers, created in secret as part of Palpatine's larger and incredibly convoluted scheme that I still don't entirely understand to take over the galaxy. Yes, they were all grown from the genetic template of the same man, who goes by the name of Jango Fett, father of famed bounty hunter and colossal doofus Boba Fett. <laughs> Each clone is designed to grow at an accelerated rate, and with a modified genetic structure to discourage independence. Though they did demonstrate in the Clone Wars TV series, which is canon, a variety of differing personalities. Between the prequel and original trilogy, the clone troopers were gradually reduced in numbers. In the expanded universe, this is due to a variety of reasons. Palpatine thought if they used the same genetic template, then they'd also share the same faults. And also there was an uprising or something. Who knows? It's all scrapped for now. It doesn't matter. We do see the return though of familiar clone troopers in Star Wars Rebels Season 2, including Captain Rex, who among others appears to be in hiding with the implication being that these guys refuse to take part in the Jedi Massacre that occurred with Order 66. Maybe Palpatine found out that not all of them took part, and this led him to believe that the template was flawed. Also in Star Wars Rebels, it's made clear that most of the stormtroopers are presumably regular human recruits, whose training for some reason mostly involves just jumping from box to box. Box. It's later revealed that this test is partly to determine whether any of the cadets are force sensitive, which would then lead them to be taken away by the Inquisitor for further training. Yeah, that's this guy. He's just some jerk with dark side powers. Not even equal to that of Vader. A man who's got such poor spatial awareness and sense of self that he thought jumping over another man with a laser sword wouldn't render him limbless. And dare I say it, probably feeling a little bit embarrassed for his actions. In one of the many remastered versions of the original trilogy, George Lucas opted not to dub over every stormtrooper with the actor who portrayed Jango Fett, like he did with Boba Fett. What if he doesn't survive? He's worth a lot to me. What if he doesn't survive? He's worth a lot to me. Meaning, again, that they're not all clones of the same guy. In fact, although a lot of them do sound similar, they're actually voiced by a handful of different actors, including most famously, Terence McGovern. Another indication that they're not all the same person is that they widely vary in ability. Some units are extremely effective, like at the beginning of A New Hope, but other times a whole lot of them are beaten to death by a bunch of children's toys. Children's toys who eat people, by the way. Let's not forget that they were very much planning to cook and devour Han Solo earlier in the film. As for the new trilogy, well, it's hard to say exactly who the stormtroopers are. I'd say they're most likely recruits or conscripts, with perhaps even a variety of new clone templates mixed in. We might see some original clone troopers again. You never know. The Empire would most likely have that genetic information stored on file somewhere. Maybe even on the Death Star. Ah! Maybe on the second Death Star. Ah! All right. Thanks, everyone. Now, if you liked this, maybe you'll like this video here. I'll link that and probably another one below and at the end of this video, along with my podcast, The Weekly Planet. A moderately popular show available every Monday via iTunes and the terrific comicbookmovie.com. Great! Here's a question though. Who do you think are the most effective soldiers? Stormtroopers? Clone troopers? Or do you think even the latest version will just blitz it? Best we've ever seen. If you have any thoughts, why don't you leave them below if you want. Alright, thanks everyone. Take care.